Could there be a connection between the Ebola outbreak and the stock market? Here to shed some light on the ongoing epidemic is Alan Hall of the Socionomics Institute. Alan, give us some context. There's evidence that this outbreak had been brewing for some time. Researchers said it just hadn't gotten out of control or the right conditions weren't there. And then suddenly, after a six-year bear market in the Western African stock market, Ebola virus disease erupted in March of this year. Somehow, after six years of bear market, the right conditions arrived. So the stock market went down and people got sick. The stock market is a barometer of society's mood. When mood is trending positively, people feel more optimistic and confident. And among other manifestations, they buy stocks. When mood's trending negatively, they feel more pessimistic and fearful. And among other manifestations, they sell stocks. A country's freely traded stock market is the best indicator we know of to measure social mood. History shows that the longer a society undergoes a pessimistic and fearful psychological state, the more they seem to be susceptible to epidemics. So here's a chart of social mood in Western Africa. The timing of the outbreak after a long period of negative mood is similar to other major epidemics. So this isn't the first epidemic to follow a drop in the markets. We've seen this same pattern time and time again. Here's a chart of British stocks and London's cholera epidemics in the mid-1800s. A downturn in stocks preceded each outbreak. Here's a chart of inflation-adjusted U.S. stocks and major epidemics. Long periods of negative social mood tend to precede major epidemics. And more recently, check out the timing of the SARS epidemic, which erupted just after the low of the 2000-2002 bear market, and the H1N1 flu pandemic that broke out in the wake of the 2007-2009 bear market. We don't think these are just coincidences. In a general way, society seems to be fluctuating between states of robustness and weakness. Stock markets show us in advance when the conditions are becoming ripe for the spread of infectious disease. So how can socionomics help public health workers? Let's take HIV AIDS, for example. The socionomic perspective would have been life-saving in the early 1980s when the American government completely ignored the emerging AIDS epidemic. Not until 1986, when infections were skyrocketing and more than half the hemophiliacs in the United States were infected, did the government issue its first major statement on preventing the spread of AIDS. More recently, if the CDC and WHO had the socionomic perspective, they would have known that the likelihood of a serious epidemic in Western Africa was high, and they might have acted earlier and more strongly back in March when the first cases popped up. Instead, it's now the deadliest Ebola outbreak in history. The WHO just declared the epidemic an international public health emergency, and the head of the CDC just warned that Ebola spread to the United States is inevitable. So bear markets and epidemics go together? We wrote in 2009 that the social responses to an epidemic fit well with the social character of a bear market. Negative mood fosters an environment of fear and distrust, which usually impedes orderly disease containment procedures. The Red Cross suspended efforts to curb the spread of Ebola in Southeast Guinea after men with knives attacked doctors and medics. People are hiding sick relatives and lying about their health in order to travel, etc. The same kinds of things would happen in developed countries if social mood were intensely negative during an epidemic. Right now, the U.S. stock market is near an all-time high, so what does that say about the chances for an outbreak in the States? We wouldn't expect a major outbreak right now in the United States because mood has been trending positively since 2009. But that positive trend in social mood has produced a complacent social environment that could present a, res a risk to public health, for example. It was the August 1st decision to bring Ebola patients to Atlanta. The CDC has had a recent history of biosecurity lapses, so that risk is not zero. A severe downtrend in the U.S. markets would signal a greater likelihood for the onset of an epidemic. Still, it's always prudent to stay aware and be prepared. There's a link in the current issue of the Socionomist for a list of precautions you can consider to minimize the impact of negative mood on your health. Thank you, Alan, and stay healthy. Thank you.